Welcome to the Monitoring and Evaluation Technology Expert Series. In this video we're going to be looking at database design. We have an example project which is a simple program of training skills delivered to young people. The five-year program is made up of a series of six classes for the students. We're looking to enrol 500 young people over the summer months and each class has no more than 25 students which can be delivered across the region. Let's have a look at a few definitions. A data field is a basic unit of data and stores a single piece of information or a value. A record is a combination of fields containing data about a student, a course or a survey and a set of records with the same fields are collected together in what's called a table. Excel is commonly used to record m and &E data and it's an excellent tool. It allows new fields and records to be added. Different worksheets can provide separate data tables within the same Excel file. And in order to analyze and disaggregate data, large tables with the different columns are required. Let's take our simple example. We need an Excel data sheet with 500 rows, one row for each student. We'll need six columns to mark the attendance at each of the six training classes. We're going to need 12 columns, one for each answer in the survey, and we're going to run three surveys, so a total of 36 columns. We'll also need six columns to hold the student data and a unique ID. This gives a total of 24,000 data points which we need to collect each year for m and &E. And over the five-year program is 120,000 cells in one Excel spreadsheet. This is for our very simple example. When you add in a few more student attributes, a session and program feedback form, the number of data points in one table becomes very difficult to navigate, search and manage. Excel is a single user database. Only one person can enter data or analyze at a time. Copies can be made, but merging the changes back together again is not trivial. Any kind of data can be entered into any of the cells so I recommend that possible field values are restricted using Excel's validation functions. Analyses using formula and charts rely on defined regions to provide the data for the analyses. When you add more columns or rows that means those definitions need to be changed. You can add new rows before the last row which works in some cases and the ranges are automatically updated. Alternatively you can define ranges which cover, let's say, a thousand rows and then just ignore any blank rows during the analysis. What else could you use? Relational databases are the next step up and they maintain separate data tables and link them using special keys. For instance, here we have a student table which just contains student information and a survey table which only contains the survey information linked together with a unique ID from the student. We can also record attendance through an attendance table and a course table. This means that data is only stored in one place, what's called normalized, and it's easy to navigate and manage. Adding new data is easy. However, the user interface is the critical element of any relational database. It provides all of the functions to enter data, create reports and export the data. Relational databases are scalable and can store huge amounts of data, even unlimited. You are able to quickly retrieve data on a particular student, course or program through the search functions. Many users can access the same data at the same time depending on their authorization. There are many open source databases available. 
for instance, MySQL. Applications built on relational databases are powerful, scalable and flexible. However, the database only stores data. It is the user interface which is the part that the users interact with and that must be fit for the purposes that you need it for. You have to consider how data will be entered into the database and how it will be analysed and extracted from the database. Any application must be simple to use, easy to understand and quick to respond. Generally coding expertise is required to configure and access the data within a database. A cloud database is simply a relational database which is hosted on the internet. You pay a small monthly fee and the service provider takes care of maintenance and upgrades of the software provision of the hardware, they manage backups and in case of emergencies they cater for keeping your, your data live. The user interface remains the essential element of any database. There are many well-known applications and websites that all use relational databases. But remember, a database simply stores data you must carefully consider how to collect data and enter it into the database, how you need the data to be analysed, reported and exported from that database. As before, there are many providers who offer databases, but there are very few who offer database applications specifically designed for M&E. If you're looking at storing data for M&E, Consider how much data you're going to collect. As we saw before, the number of students times by the information you need to collect and all of the survey questions. How many programs and how many years you're going to collect that data for. How will you collect the data and enter it into the database? And how are you going to manage, analyse, report and export from the database? Who needs to access the data? Who will be doing data entry, managing the data, analysing the data and reporting? And what does each of those users need to have access to, to perform their role? Do you have the expertise in your organisation to build and maintain your own database? Excel will require advanced formulae and charting skills. A relational database will require coding expertise. And who is going to support your database in terms of maintenance, backup and software? So in summary, Excel is great for basic use. It's simple and cost effective. You will need expertise for analysis and data management. And it's a single use only. A relational database, on the other hand, can store huge amounts of data. Many users can access the data at the same time and it could be cloud-based to reduce the cost. The user interface is the key component. GoProve uses a relational database and allows unlimited student, project and survey records. The cloud-based end-to-end application provides data collection, data management and built-in analysis and reporting tools.